Take three. Well, he it is was... switching hands and feet. Yeah. Exactly. I got into like the degrees. <laughs> yeah. and he has touching. no legs. He's got <laughs> yeah. legless... um... I didn't know there were so many different flares. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best I could describe it. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to picture it and there's like this legless you know guy. He's <laughs> breaking, <laughs> right? Thank you for joining Between Sisters again. I'm my Chu Tao and you know they're going to call Chu Sang, who could get dog Gary. Yato here, Lee Gary, Google Kamiji, Hatsa, Hatia, Kuluno Halu, Bet Mong Culture New Year celebration. Yeah, Lu's title, Lee Gat here, a Ipin Long Ta. We'll jump right into that title later on throughout the interview, but introduce your title. Hi, Kulun Baya, I'm Gary Yang. I'm Kuyatu chairman of the performing arts competitions. This year, the Hong Cultural New Year celebration. Okay, so then I'll go to the big audience like in Shiloh, Papa Minji, Tena Yaki, Kusa Nuka, Hatia, Kuitsi, Yahoo, Fresno, no long, like you're going, y'all, Lord Rafa, do you talk Yes, so um, for me, I was born and raised in Fresno, California. Mm-hmm. I was born um, at Fresno Community Hospital and raised there my whole life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, okay, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, no, um, so yeah, I mean, other than traveling out of state, um, you know, I've been to, you know, states as, you know, Oklahoma, Minnesota, mm-hmm. Wisconsin, uh, Georgia, you know, I've been around the U.S. quite a bit, you know, I'm okay. still going. So. Okay, so born and raised here, basically. Yes, born and raised, yep, since 85. I see. So, so you're all for us, you chairman of performing arts, Uli. um, now you to introduce God to the performing arts in general or hip hop in general. Well, we talk about a um, performing arts day. I think that's something that um, I just came upon mm-hmm. uh, recently uh, due to um, the actions that I um, had last year with ACNYC uh, organizing and taking roles with them. Because um, uh, for this position, I was interviewed and. You know, I was asked about it, and um, upon accepting it, I was given the roles and duties that, you know, I felt I could accomplish for the organization this year. And as of hip hop, um, I've always been in love with hip hop ever since I was young. Mm-hmm. Um, growing up um, in the '90s, you know, being around um, a lot of uh, rap and um, breaking, mm-hmm. and just the influence I had with my uncles and older brothers, and my friends that were around me, um, I felt like. You know, hip hop has always just been a part of me. Mm-hmm. Was there a particular moment in your childhood that you're like, "Ooh, that's so cool!" That yes. gave you that spark that you're like, "I want to do something like that." Yes. So for me, I think mm-hmm. um, what started, what what inspired me mm-hmm. into breaking was the fact that when I was a young kid, maybe around uh, fifth or sixth grade, I saw my uncles and my older brother. Um, breaking mm-hmm. in my grandma's house on the living room floor. Oh. You know, and it was just something that I saw when I was a little kid, and I was so, you know, amazed by it that I wanted to do that one day. Mm-hmm. And this was probably around the early 90s, I want to say around 94, 95, mm-hmm. you know, out here in uh, Fresno. Mm-hmm. What was the hardest move? That you have to learn when you were younger. Well, one that oh, man. that you all about gallery, you fully he or so she jump on this year. You know, for me, I think um, a, lot, a lot of people they, they may know that like mm-hmm. I love windmills, right? Mm-hmm. Like windmills is my thing. But the thing that they don't realize is that it took me two years to learn how to windmill. Mm-hmm. Um, is that is that normal? Or is um, that... Yeah, I mean, like everyone learns at their own pace. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I believe that some people are. Um, naturally talented and others are a little more hardworking mm-hmm. and for me you know I had to work really hard in order to get the move down and you know like I said with the progression that it took me with the two years that it took me to be um, to have that move at a level that I wanted to be at mm-hmm. you know um, because you can do the move but when it comes down to uh, form or technique like that's a whole different story mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so so once you kind of master it, when did you yeah. did? Were you in any um, battles? 
Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> when do you when did you uh, decided that you know I feel confident enough to get into battles? Um, you know, for for the battles wise, mm -hmm. I think for me the the confidence was more like. Uh, when I was a kid, I think it was more like my cousins and them, they kind of threw me out first. They're always mm -hmm. like, hey man, you're like, you go first, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, and, yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, at the same time, uh -huh. it's like, you know, you want to go too, and then your cousins mm -hmm. and everyone's are there, you know, your friends. Mm -hmm. And everyone's just like, man, like, you know, you go first and then I'll go. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I always took that initiative to go, to go out. And then after that, you know, the battles would start and, you know, the friends and the opponents, you know, everyone would get, you know, they would get into the mood. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So was there any major titles that you won? Um, you know, as well, a Well, at least titles, major, to, major to you in, in your journey. So with me, I think that um, with Breaking Wise, mm -hmm. I've competed quite a few times. Um, in my early days, mm -hmm. but I do believe that uh, there was a competition in the, I want to say around 2002, 2003 mm -hmm. era, and it was at some Hong New Year DJ party okay. where they held this breaking competition, and me and all my cousins and a few other guys, uh, I don't really know who they are now, mm -hmm. but we, we all entered, right? Mm -hmm. And... And I won that competition. Oh, okay. To 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 me and my own and my cousins and my friends' surprise, mm -hmm. you know, they were surprised I won. But I think that the reason why I won was because I was able to be more open-minded to different mm -hmm. styles of mm -hmm. uh, breaking, other than just uh, power moves. Okay. You know, because I always had a different uh, view on breaking, whereas my cousins were very power move heavy, mm -hmm. and I was more like, hey, there's also a lot of style footwork you know, freezes, techniques that should be also um, something that we should look at, you know. So having that open-mindedness um, to be um, able to learn mm -hmm. these things was it was the advantage that I had in the competition that we were competing in that I think uh, made me win. So. so after all these years, um, how have uh, breaking or hip-hop in general, how has it helped you personally? Oh man, I think that like, well, uh, with breaking, it really definitely saved my life. Oh, wow. um, I think that uh, a lot, of, a lot of people they don't realize. Uh, you know, even though I've been breaking in Fresno since like '97, um, I I've always had moments of my breaking career where it was just up and down, or mm -hmm. I took hiatuses. And for me, um, I want to say that I just came back into breaking um, in 2014 after a divorce. And um, with that being said, the divorce had a big toll on me, um, having to do with mental illness mm -hmm. and depression mm -hmm. and um, just uh, uh, a new look on life. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, for me, breaking really saved my life because that was the one thing that when I turned to, it was always there. Mm -hmm. So um, I just remember those hard days and like, you know, breaking by myself but always feeling inspired to keep keep going. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So tell the coach involvement. Not that like we get coach to teach us a lot. A part more coach on the year. Kill it. Look for a performing arts uh, segment. Okay. Well, for me, um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my vision on the performing arts is very much uh, rooted to my passion in breaking. Mm -hmm. um, it's to help change the community. It's to help, um, you know. Instead of saying, hey, let's do this in the next five to 10 years, it's, hey, let's do this right now. You know, mm -hmm. let's make the future happen in the present so that way, five to 10 years from now, our kids, our little brothers and sisters, you know, they'll be able to grow up and have something that we didn't have. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so about the Kanopi Thai, they like performing arts, that's very general. Especially, what are you actually in charge of? Uh, so this year, I'm <laughs> I know you're you're going to be a very busy man. Yes, I am. Uh huh. So you know, as the chairman of the performing arts, what does that really? So the chairman of performing yeah. arts, um, it entails overseeing um, all performing arts competitions, um, just like the Miss Mong 2020. Oh wow! The traditional Mong dance, mm -hmm. um, the singing competition, mm -hmm. um, the breaking competition, and the urban dance competition. So um, by overseeing all of these, I'm able to uh, look and structure these things in a way where, you know, we are going to be just on par as well as with any other professional organization or competition that's already out there mm -hmm. to the day. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
So, you know, aku pun tahu ni ni nana. You name like so many things. Are you? Um, how, how is it feeling? Especially um, this particular interview is towards the end of November, and we you have less than a month yeah. left. So, how how is that feeling right now? You know, you know, for me, I I I don't feel uh, pressured at all mm. because I feel like. This is uh, this is passion. Mm-hmm. You know, this is something that when you love something, you never feel like it's work. You enjoy mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. and because uh, because I enjoy what I'm already doing, and if I can involve myself with other aspects of it and have them, you know, enjoy it with me, then I'm going to be happy at the end of the day. So. Okay, yeah. so before we jump into talking about the different competitions and the battles itself. Uh, why don't you educate me a little bit? Because I am somebody who watched TV, <laughs> but I I know very little about hip hop. So can you tell me what's the difference between between b boying and break dancing? Oh man. Um, okay. So the the biggest difference is that um, when uh, breaking started in the early '70s in the Bronx, mm-hmm. um, the term break dancing was not around yet. Mm-hmm. Um, in the beginning, um, it was all started. And the term was called um, b-boying or mm-hmm. break boy mm-hmm. or beat boy or you know um, the term itself uh, breaking um, it derives from break boy. Mm-hmm. So with that other term break dancing, which um, is not something that we use anymore mm-hmm. these days, um, break dancing was a uh, media term that was created in the 80s. Um, used in mass marketing of movies and commercialism. Mm-hmm. And so if you involve yourself with breaking, I think, um, you know, you got to do the research and understand that, you know, there is difference in terminology now. Mm-hmm. And we as the breaking advocates that are around today, we need to take our role and educate others as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now tell me the difference between uh, a battle in a competition, a dance battle and dance competition. Oh man, okay, so <laughs> that's a good one. I was like, is there a difference? Yeah, well, okay, so a battle is like, a battle is like, I can call you out and I can just battle you here and now. Okay, let's You know go. what I mean? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and a competition is, um, is where it's judged. Mm-hmm. It's where you're battling, but you're also being judged. And let's say at the end of the day, you're going to win something, mm-hmm. right? In a, in, in a battle, in a battle type, like a call out, um, there's no rewards, you know? I mean, the reward that you get is maybe um, respect at the end of the day mm-hmm. or, you know, or maybe just, you know, you want to bring yourself out into the mm-hmm. public. Mm-hmm. But the differences in a battle and a competition is just, I mean, you know, you can battle in a competition, um, but the competitions are mainly just judged. Especially big of Luana, yeah, big ball had the performing arts. Tia, big of me, or a big ball, Timmy Chinking, we got to pay them. This she could have the teacher, we could allow the ching, more as they might have the performing arts, uh, teach down no, like your teacher, yeah, call what I did, she's not. So, having Mong Culture New Year celebration and knowledge that this is an important component to our youth, how important is that? Well, to me, I think it's uh, very important because I felt like if the community had uh, supported us when we were younger doing things like performing arts, um, a lot of us today would probably be a lot healthier and a lot more active. Mm-hmm. Um, I really believe that, you know, I mean, we all grew up with the American dream of, you know, our parents pushing us to be doctors or lawyers. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if only they had um, acknowledged us in our skills and our talents we had at a younger age, I think you would see a lot more adults being healthy and active, whereas you know, even with uh, some of my friends, you know, they drink on almost a daily basis. Mm-hmm. You know, they're inactive, you know, and in their youth, they were such good dancers or athletes that it's just kind of sad to see that they're just not like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, for the performing art piece of it, of course, there's the pageant, there's the home dance competition, mm-hmm. but for the urban dance, uh, are there multiple uh, are there multiple competitions or battles that's yes. going to happen on that day? Can you kind of talk a little bit about those? Uh, okay, so um, with the next level, mm-hmm. what we're going to have with the next level break and jam is that we're going to be offering two free workshop classes taught by um, B-Boy LX from Four, four Gangs, uh, Four Magnets crew. Mm-hmm. And then um, we also have B-Boy Journey from uh, Underground Flow and Jack Walkies coming out to teach as well. So mm-hmm. these guys are going to be mm-hmm. coming out to the New Year's to teach um, for free, you know? Wow. So this is mm-hmm. a free opportunity in case anyone 
wants to learn how to break or you know they want to get um, they want to see what it is mm -hmm. so definitely come out and enjoy it because these guys you know they come up far ways to give this to you guys and then later on that day at 12 noon we're going to start the competition which is going to be the three on three all age competition mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to have the under uh, 17 under youth competition which mm -hmm. is a two on two and then we have a special competition um, co-hosted by uh, B-Boy Shonsky from uh, San Francisco. And this is going to be the power move competition um, that we're going to have out there as well. So, and then getting into the Common Unity Urban Dance Competition. Mm -hmm. um, we're, that one as well, um, we're going to have two free workshops okay. with um, Justin Lin and Shayna Vu. Mm -hmm. And then at 1 p.m. we're going to start the uh, competition itself. And um, that one's just going to be consisting of you know, just um, like like complete teams of five men and up, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna have two categories this year. One is gonna be like an open age division, mm -hmm. and then the other one's gonna be like um, high school and under. Well, during these competitions and battles, are there any special guest judges? Yes. Will be coming? So. Um, for the next level breaking, um, I've hired quite a few judges. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna see uh, Villain, uh, Ajax, um, Journey is gonna be judging, uh, Mayday, uh, Momentum, um, as well as uh, Dummy, Filthy, and s -Trek. And then for the uh, Urban Dance Competition, you're gonna get judges, uh, um, Impact, mm -hmm. um, Justin Lin, and uh, Shayna Vu. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. All all from really great dancers. <laughs> Although I'm not in the dance world, I've seen their work. Yeah. So that's that. That tells you something, you know. Yes. Where I'm not even in the scene, and I know who they are. So yeah. I'm like, <gasps> yeah. And and I think that's very important because mm -hmm. by by bringing out uh, professional um, judges and credible mm -hmm. people, um, you're gonna get real events, yes. you know. So and that's what we want to do is, um, you know, for me taking this role was to be able to. Um, bring this kind of professionalism to the new year so mm -hmm. that way, you know, everyone can come together and see what it's going to take. So this event, um, it brings people from all over the nation, mm -hmm. um, if not internationally. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the kind of route that we're trying to go is, mm -hmm. um, you know, even though it is here, it is held here locally, um, this is an opportunity for anyone from anywhere to come out and compete. You know, it's like, um, for me, what I always wanted to do was you know, to bring the out-of-town competition in town. Mm -hmm. So that way our community, we don't have to travel far to see these, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I think that, you know, through the past few years and from what I've envisioned with the community, um, this event is definitely taking it, taking it up to that level. For those people that are watching this and they're still debating whether or not they should come to the competition or even to watch, you know, um, what you know do you have any words of advice for them or encouragement yeah i'd say just come on out you know um yeah this is a great event it's always uh held its own uh, every single year and it's a low price it's mm -hmm. a low cost um for the event it's free to spectate as long as you uh pay to get into the home new year's itself mm -hmm. you know and then after that you know like i said i mean we have so much free things like you know the workshops that you can join in on too so mm -hmm. you know it's it's an opportunity that you don't want to miss you know it doesn't come around every day mm -hmm. so. the game we're going to play is i'm going to i'm going to watch a video and i am i will try to attempt to describe to you the dance move <laughs> and then you are going to tell me what dance move <laughs> This okay. person is doing. Okay, so okay. let's try this. Uh, uh, is it mute? No. Alright, take three. Okay, so the first move, he's on the ground with his hands on the ground and his legs are stretched out kind of and he bent a little bit and um, he's kind of kicking back while he's switching feet so his feet are on the ground yes and his hands are on the ground and his hands are on the ground yes and, and he's, he's kind of switching hands back and forth and his feet are kind of kicking back and forth and his feet but are the, kicking and back his and forth. knees are, are bent like this or this or side to side side to side uh-huh um 
His hands and feet. Are they rotating hands and feet? Yes. Oh, okay. And his knees are bent. And his knees are uh-huh. bent? Like, like how bent? Like a little like, bent, 90 degrees bent? Uh-huh. Like there's 90 variations. 90 degrees, 45 degree-ish. Okay. Um, I don't know my degrees right now. <laughs> Uh, so switching hands and feet are switching. He's on the ground, man. flipping back and forth. I, I, switching I, hands I, and feet. I want to say windmills. No. no. Is it air swipes? <laughs> That's the best I could describe it. I'm so sorry. No, it's part of footwork. Um, Should I demonstrate? No. <laughs> yeah, he demonstrated. No, no, no. Yeah, is he doing the CCs? I don't. I don't know. Yes, it's a CC. Yeah? Okay. 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 It okay. Tell me. So it's okay. So okay. It's so CCs. do I go to the next? Yeah, next step. Uh, Next that was a hard description, yeah, that man. Was such it's a like, bad description. Well, he was, is switching hands and yeah. feet. <laughs> I, exactly. I got into like the degrees. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, 90 degrees. 40, 90 degrees. Okay. Hey. Okay, so third move. <laughs> okay, I'm watching it first. And uh, he's describing, so let me. Okay. Let me. Uh, okay. Arms are doing all the work and legs are up in the air. Uh, spinning around in a circle and legs are flipping in the air. And that, that's an air flare. Okay, yes. Yeah. Right? No. No? No. Then you said arm? How many arms? Two arms. Many? <laughs> Two arms? <laughs> yeah, both arms okay, are both on arms? the ground. Okay. And um, yeah, the legs are... Uh, are the arms together or, or are they apart. taking turns? Apart. Okay, and apart? they're uh, okay. <laughs> taking turns. Um, illusions. <laughs> no? Uh, 2000s? No. Um, um, I didn't know there were so many different flares. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you say it's a flare? <laughs> God damn it. Oh! It's just a flare. Oh, just a basic yeah. flare? Then, you didn't just say flare? Then why is it like... Oh, the air flare and flare are different. Yeah. Oh, but, okay. So yeah. I thought it was the same thing. Yeah. Okay. I'll just no. say, I'll, I'll say the exact name. Yeah, okay, I think you say like Thomas Flares. Okay. Your, his legs are up in the air. That's I know, it sounds too. like it. I was like, That's too. But it, they're switching. But it's, it's switching. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. Next one. Let me watch what he's doing first. He's demonstrating. So, okay. Okay, this is where he spins on his back and bounces up. <laughs> Spins on his back and bounces up. Yeah. So it's a backspin, right? Because he spins on his back. No. So he basically he uh, just uh, the move basically it goes straight into uh, his back and then comes back back up. Okay. How are his legs? Um. Let me see. Are they together? Again. Apart? How's his hands placed? <laughs> <God damn. laughs> No, there's there, there's a lot of technique, you know, when when you when okay, you break, so it's let like me, let me look again. You know, it's, it's the details. Mm-hmm. You know, I forgot where the move started. Yeah, man, Ju- judging ain't easy because you gotta look at details. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when he bounces on his back, his legs are in the air, both so, legs. So, uh, coin drops. Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Because he's bouncing. Yeah. Okay. Because I was like, I was going to say he drops to the ground, but then that's part of the work. That's part of the Yeah. Yeah. He does a Mm backspin. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Exactly. But the backspins are different than um, dropping on your back. Yeah. Yeah, You know. Yeah, but I can say drop. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I can say drop. So uh, a lot of the names for breaking comes from the movement. Yeah. So So I can't say drop. So I'm. I I couldn't think of. It's, that's why I said he just went right into it. Yeah, I know, and, and that's that's the hardest to describe, you know, because with naming a lot of the terminology, mm-hmm. it comes from something visual. The act- you see, yeah, the you know? actual movement itself. Yeah. Or, or what it looks like. Okay, I'm so. going to the next one. Okay, this move, uh, this move, no legs at all. Okay. Uh, hands so are against the chest. And um, okay. the hands are on the ground. Okay. Hands are on the ground, and the elbows against his his chest, and he is um, using his hands to pivot backward. Hands are on the ground, though. Hands are out. wait. No, no feet and are not. He has touching. no legs. So this guy's <laughs> yeah. a legless person. <laughs> no, no leg, and legs are not touching the ground. Okay, legs aren't touching the ground. Uh-huh. Okay. So, and you said that he's. 
Ro rotating? No. No? So hands are on the ground. Okay. Hands are on the ground. The elbows are against his chest. Okay. Oh, then that, that's gotta be a turtle. Not Crab? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, with, this with the terminology for that, it's it's very uh, close to okay. the turtle. Oh man, I don't know how to describe this one. <laughs> I want to hear this one. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, I don't even know how to start. Okay, so. Kapana <laughs> Don. Yep, help me. Face power move. So both hands uh, are on the ground, but they switch hand there, but only one feet touches the ground each time he spins. <laughs> okay, say it again. So both hands uh, take turns touching the ground, supporting. Okay. And he does spin, but each time he's uh, the only one feet touches the ground when he spins. Only one feet touches the ground when he spins. Yes, but both hands are on the ground switching, and he goes around in a circle. <laughs> oh, and he goes around in a circle. Yes. Yes. Okay. That seems like okay. a good, okay. good tip. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything kind of spins in a circle. Like Every single. Um, week. Um, Man, but but you said that his feet actually do touch the ground once. Yes, one, yeah. Once, okay. One feet at a time. So, um, <laughs> um, so I do want to so say. So it, it's almost like a feet kind of uh, pivot him up again to flip another turn. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's got to be air swipes. No? Yes. 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 Wow. Yeah, that was really good. yeah, well, you yeah. gave it away when you said pivot. Yeah, oh, that's really good. Pivot, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. This next okay. one's hard. Let's see. Let, let's hear the description. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he used one hand to flip, and when he flipped, he does a whole 180 flip uh, laterally. Okay. So he's flipping, but he's also flipping laterally. So. With one hand? Uh, both hands. With both hands? Yes. Are, are, are his feet touching the ground? Um, let me rewatch. No, his feet are not touching the ground. Okay. Um, is his back on the ground? No. So, is um, his head on the ground? No. So it's no? just, okay. uh, basically it's just his hands are doing all the power moves. And he okay. is... Uh, I think I got this one. Okay. It's, it's got to be air flares. Not no. It's some kind of flares, is it? Sure. Oh. Yes. But yeah, that's, um, that's a big clue. So it's gotta be chair flares then. Yeah, yeah, it's a chair flare. <laughs> we'll go with chair flare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's would... critical. Oh, uh, critical. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Critical and chair flares. They yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that was, I, I think that was harder on me, and, and it's yeah, really hard on you. It's, well, I'm just, I'm just trying to picture it, and there's like this legless you know, guy, me, me. <laughs> he's breaking, I mean, right? Wait, he and his, and his arms are in legs. front, but his arms are crossed, and his elbows are here, and I'm like, how do you move? <laughs> okay, maybe one day I'll have you describe Mo Dance to me while hey. I'm trying to tell you the Mo Dance moves. <laughs> Hey, I, I don't know. My, my daughter bong dances, so I... Okay. I, yeah, I don't think they I have, have names have for the idea. moves, but yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so mean. is there any... <laughs> before we end this uh, interview, do you have any uh, final words to the audience uh, to just come out and support the um, the com competition yeah. or the battles? Um, I say just uh, come on out, check it out. Um, you know, it's a great place to, uh, to come out and have fun. If you want to learn something, it's there. If you want to see something, it's there. Um, definitely come out and just enjoy yourself. You know, um, you know this only happens uh, once a year, so definitely you don't want to miss out because people will be talking about it. You know, um, after it's done. So definitely just uh, try to come out and have a good time. Yeah. All right. Thank you so, so much for your time, no, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, that was awesome. That was good. <laughs>